Well, Tamim Iqbal with a wonderful knock in the first innings of the first test. An explosive talent. He's got all the shots in the book. At times you feel he just needs to curb them, but curb his enthusiasm, curb his natural instinct to go after the bowling. Both from Chirigong, interestingly, so they must have played together quite often in the National Cricket League. Tamim Iqbal also hails from Chirigong, the nephew of the present chief selector, Akram Khan, in his 26th match. 1,825 runs at an average, very good impressive average of 38. Four hundreds could be more. He's capable of doing that. He's come into the test arena a little later in years compared to a lot of um, other Bangladeshi players, 27 years old, just into his third match. He's got to yet his, uh, prove his worth uh, with just that uh, 50. It's going to be Fidel Edwards who has come in for Ravi Rampol to start off proceedings. Uh, very experienced with 158 wickets. 11 five wicket hauls. Brilliant stuff. So all set for the first delivery of the second Sahara Cricket Test match here in Kunla. Here we go. Little Edwards to Thame Mikbal. Nicely behind that and straight away to the cheers of the crowd, a single result. That's a beauty, straight as you can. No one's going to stop that. Just a push, full face of the bat, and uh, he stroked it delightfully past the bowler, who didn't have a chance for the first boundary of the innings. What an absolute cracker of a shot. Straight down, classical, full face of the bat. Just pushed it. And you can see how straight it was, just missed the stumps. That's where you want to be hitting the ball. No one's going to be stopping those. It's a new over by Fiddle Edwards. And on, he's gone. I think he's gone. He's just trying to tuck him around the corner. Bit of a bat and then possibly off the pads onto the forward short leg fielder. And Nazimuddin goes early. Well, again, dug in short, but it hasn't risen as much as the batsman would have expected. Nazimuddin departs for four and Bangladesh are five for one. So, early strike for the West Indies, getting rid of Nazimuddin, bringing in Sharia Nafiz, the left-handed batsman. And uh, he's coming in pretty early, I'm sure, with uh, the way the wicket seemed to be play playing. Wouldn't have imagined that uh, the opening pair would have been separated so early in the day. 1180 runs so far in his kitty, one century. Whoa, that's uh, really reared up off uh, just back of a length. That really surprised the new batsman. Short and pulled away. Four. The Shayan Nafiz has played a few shots uh, in the last test match and he's not holding himself back. He's looked a little awkward trying to defend a couple of short deliveries early on. So he's made his mind up now that if it's short, he's really going to go after it. He got all of that one. Oh, it's good delivery. Just, uh, just left off the shoulder of the bat. It's going for runs. But uh, the bowler is going to be pretty happy with that result. Not in control of that shot at all. Ah. Control, but still had enough power. Seemed just to be getting the upper part of the bat. But despite that, Shari Naf is managing to put it away towards the mid-wicket region for four runs. That's been hit very high, and it's two bounces into the mid-wicket fence. Yeah! Lovely delivery. Outside edge, straight to the keeper. Couple of deliveries were left alone this time. 
that one pushed uh, a little bit closer to Shire and Afiz. All he had to do was uh, come and just nix it. Back to the pavilion after scoring 26, Bangladesh 64 for two. Naeem Islam is in the middle ball of Shari Nafis's wicket, right-handed batsman, 25 years old. He scored the only century for Bangladesh in the first test match. More than five hours. Almost six hours in the middle for him. And that's a put away. Just waits for the bad delivery. Long hop down the leg side. Just helps. It's on his way to the boundary. He's gone. That's the commentator's curse there. Just as we were building him up, he's had his stumps rattle. Apologies to Tamim. Darren Sammy to send back Tamim Bal back for 32. Bangladesh in a spot of bother at 77 for 3. Shakib Al Hassan. He's uh, playing in his hometown. He's from Kulna. Once again, wide, but that's been put away. Put away and good, handsome style for a boundary. No chance whatsoever for the fielder at uh, wide third man. Gary Morgan tells me, and he's gone. No, he's dropped him. He has dropped him. Why don't he dragged it in? Oh my goodness, I don't believe this. It's wide, he's playing away from his body, gets the inside part of the bat and on to the wicket. Crowd is stunned. Naeem Islam will be disappointed. He's bowled by Fidel Edwards for 16. Bangladesh are 93 for 4. Bangladesh in all spot shorts of bother. Mushfika Rahim, the captain comes in, 24 years old. That's right-handed, and he's got his work cut out, I can tell you that. Oh, that's just beautifully hit. Didn't bother to move. It's delightfully executed. Showing some confidence here, Shaki Balazan at last. The crowd has something to cheer about. Look at the way he negotiated that. In his area, seemed to be re reaching for it, but he was well forward and across to get on top of that and placement was perfect playing and missing an appeal and he's gone Shaki Vilasan looks up unbelievingly but he has to go and hands on head another strike Edwards gets him to play away from his body and he goes for 17 and Bangladesh are now 98 for 5 Nasser Hussain walks into the ground. I'm sure he didn't fancy himself uh, coming into that immediately after lunch on the first day here. That's driven square, back with a point. That's going to go for four runs. Take your share. I'll give the batsman, I suppose, the benefit of the doubt for that he opened the face of the bat. Seemed to be hitting it more squarer than where it ended up. shot on that occasion what a beautiful shot that is uh, from the youngster Nasser Hussein on the leg beautifully picked up and a uh, lovely timing beautiful shot absolutely stunning got to the pitch of the delivery and stroked it very well between covers Once again, he's gone out really big. Another boundary. He's not afraid to play a few shots. He sure isn't. And the crowd are delighted. I think that's where you create chance. What a lovely shot that is. He is uh, looking really good. Pitched up and just punched it down the ground through the covers for yet another boundary.
Uh, he's gone for it again. And he's found the gap, I think, this time, comfortably enough. He's gone all the way for a over boundary. It's 172 for five. That's nicely played. And picks up his uh, 50. That's a lovely touch. Deft touch uh, from the youngster, Nasir Hussain. His uh, third uh, test match 50, second in this series. And he's been a very good find for Bangladesh in other formats of the game. And uh, so far, he's looked very good and comfortable in this form of the game. Well, he's made use of any room he's gotten. Anything over pitched, he's put it away. That was his eighth boundary. Up to the stumps, Dinesh Ramblin. That's hit in the air yes! and straight to Midan. Yes! And that's the end of Nasser Hussein. And he's going to be very, very disappointed, not least for himself, but for his team as well. He departs for 52, Bangladesh 185 for six. New batsman is Mamadullah. You'd have to think that it would only be him and Chua Ghazi comes next. Stand between. Good to way off his legs, and that's going to go to the square leg boundary for four runs. Super shot from the captain onto the legs and. Uh, Played that beautifully, kept it all along the ground, and that one raced to the boundary in no time. Working with the pace of Phil Edwards, we know he can be a skiddy customer. But there's a lovely shot, good touch. What a delivery, gem of a delivery. That one moved away and straight away into the keepers, and a very good catch. He'll be disappointed. So, big strike again. The captain goes, Mushfiq Rahim for 38. Bangladesh 193 for seven. Tough for a newcomer to come in in this kind of situations. Shah Ghazi excelled with the ball in the first test match, taking nine wickets. Pola looks good and it is good. It's picked up his uh, fifth wicket. Fiddle led was a. Uh... Shah Ghazi gone without scoring 193 for eight. Abul Hassan, who has been drafted in place of Shahadat Hussain in this match. This time it's Abul Hassan. That's a good looking shot. Cracks it. Picks up his uh, first boundary in Test match cricket. Short. Pulled away. And it's gone for yet another boundary. It's another wasted delivery. How many short pitch deliveries have we seen just put away for four today? Couldn't possibly have meant to do that. Edwards is getting so much success pick, pitching the ball up. <laughs> Unconventional, but nonetheless very effective. That's a beauty. That's better than a number 10. That is far better than a number 10. Outstanding shot there by Hassan. Picked up on the width, freed his arms and gave it a big wallop. From 200 to 50, I beg your pardon, has come in just 47 deliveries. And that is a prime reason why. Because Hassan has been batting magnificently. First six of the innings, second six of the innings, first six, first six of Hassan, Hassan's innings. Wow, what a shot. Look at that. One leg down and uh, it seemed to be... Well, what about that? Cracked that away through mid-wicket. 
there was uh, coming on to him uh, at a lovely height and he obliged great shot uh, just that and that's true between the slip and the gully I was just mentioning to the deep third man boundary so he's playing away from his body but uh, there again not in control but the result he'll take it down the wicket charges after it hits it away over extra cover and that's gone all the way for six brilliant well played young man he reaches his half century with a superb strike it's an outstanding innings it's an important innings and what a shot to bring up is their first test match 50 goes down the track and hits it over the top of the infield for a massive six and he's looked very good indeed not just uh, the way he scored his runs but he's also given much uh, importance to the partnership it's a it's a kind of innings that uh, would make a top batsman proud well he's whacked that that's a boundary the 300 comes up it's 303 for eight That is 50, quietly but surely. Been a terrific knock from the vice captain. He's uh, done the hard work and made sure that he builds up a partnership and he found an able partner. Terrific stuff. By an outside edge uh, that should run away to the boundary. It does. Bit of a fumble in the end. But uh, four more. That's gone through. Will be a boundary. Inching closer. No sign of nerves there from the young man Abul Hassan. Wow. Second test. And it tucks that nicely round the corner. Gone through for a single. He's coming back for the second round. And that is his hundred. Abul Hassan reaches one of the best milestones reached by any Bangladeshi batsman. He's the 62nd batsman to hit 100 on his debut innings, the third Bangladeshi and the fourth at number 10 to get to this milestone. Congratulations, young man. You're a big, big-hearted Bangladeshi and the crowd are absolutely over the moon. This has been a fantastic performance and he thanks the Almighty for it. It has been a superb display of play of uh, good cricket, good batting by Abul Hassan. Congratulations once again. This is how he got to it. Just a little tuck off his pads. If he tried that a little earlier, he would have got there a lot earlier. There's an appeal, a half-hearted one. No response from the umpire, and uh, we see the umpire just uh, going across. Check of the hands, congratulations from uh, the West Indian players. And that is Stumps on the first day of the second test match here at the Sheikh Abu Nasser Stadium in Kulna. The first time Kulna has been used as a test venue, Bangladesh, after being pushed back by some good West Indian bowling has fought back wonderfully well particularly because of this young man who's taken the team as a bowler has come in at number 10 and has scored a debut century congratulations smiles all around this is good to see Peter Edwards getting 5-4 initially for the West Indians and then uh, this man dominating the start of the second day of the second Sahara Test match between Bangladesh and the West Indies. You see the umpires uh, walking in, Richard Illingworth and Bruce Oxenford, and play is about to begin. The crowd's just settling down nicely as we approach the start of play on the second day of the second Sahara Test match between Bangladesh and the West Indies. 
gifted to the Bangladeshi supporters. A hundred of 108 balls, three sixes. But uh, the man on strike is uh, going to be the vice captain of Bangladesh. 72 not out of 89 balls. Mahmoud Riyadh has got a point to prove and also will be eyeing that uh, three-figure mark. Well, West Indies also have had a little bit of a mishap. Do you know Best is injured? He wasn't feeling 100% this morning when I spoke to him. But luckily for the West Indies, they've got Darren Sammy and Fidel Edwards. Fidel Edwards was magnificent yesterday as Darren Sammy comes in for the first ball of day two. Just a loser. He's going down the leg side. Not enough speed, not his normal speed. Uh, that we see from Darren Sami, but he's been very impressive, Darren Sami. Nicely played away. That'll be a good feeling to get ball on bat early on and uh, helping himself to a single. Down though it gets, swats it away. That's gone for four runs. Well, he's come with a positive frame of mind, but I tell you what, just after he played that shot, he was shaking his hand, you know, that must have hurt. That was struck very hard. Well, he's made his intentions clear. He's not going to hang around. He's going to try and get as many runs as he can. Bat in the same frame of mind as he batted yesterday. Aggressive, attacking. Nicely done, whoa, my goodness, that's gone straight to Darren Sami, that's a sad end. It was just dabbed straight back to the bowler. He seemed to check his shot and the crowd are absolutely stunned. First wicket goes in the second day. Mahmoudullah departs for 76. Bangladesh has 377 for nine. Uh, new batsman in uh, Rubel Hussain. Last man in for Bangladesh. Numbers 10 and 11 in the middle and it's been a wonderful over. Double change. To open the knock, that's gone past the slip fielder. And it will be a boundary. Lucky for the batsman. Unlucky for the bowler. The south field is pretty fast. Got past Samuels and Narayan. That third man is a bit wide. Really got down to the boundary pretty quickly. That's in the air. Goes to second slip. Sammy takes the catch and the innings is over. It's a short uh, delivery that has uh, uh, just uh, took the gloves of Abul Hassan and uh, sends him back to the villa. But what a gem of a knock. We have witnessed uh, from the young man who also becomes the highest scorer in a test match. That's the delivery that took uh, the gloves and straight to the gully fielder, Ryan Sami, the catcher. Six wickets for Fidel Edwards. Second time in all tests, a number 10 batsman will be the highest scorer in an innings. And made possible by 76 from Mamadullah, 113 in 123 deliveries from Abdul Hassan. The bowling, Fidel Edwards, 6 for 90 in 18.1. They stand out. And Darren Sami chipping in three important wickets in his 23 overs for just 74 runs.